Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with Dire Wolf 20. Alright, so I got a pretty good idea of something fun to build today, but I want to go over uh, a couple of the changes that I made around the base since the last episode. So, the first one is the cloches. Doesn't look like anything from up here, which is kind of the point, but down here, you know, I moved the fluid duct uh, so I could put on an item duct. And you know, the fluid duct can go anywhere on the bottom. It can go any on, on the uh, five sides. And I wanted the item duct up here because I'm crafting and exporting uh, fertilizer from forestry. And that fertilizer gives the cloches a bonus. So I can see right here, growth modifier one and a half. I've got tons and tons uh, of this appetite, right? There's three and a half thousand. I figured I might as well put it to work and still fit it, you know, everything in this space. I just think it looks so nice. And I needed all of that. Uh, let's see, let's go up here because, you know, I spent also a little time refining the spawner here. So one of the first things that I did is I added myself, you know, a button to turn off the shield. I thought that was kind of nice. That's just a, uh, a redstone, you know, transmitter or redstone receiver onto this block here that's set for redstone. I did uh, put filter on this guy so it would stop sucking in all of the blocks that I, uh, you know, break down. I did change this uh, exporter, see if I can get it right there, onto regulator mode so it only has one nether star in here. And that way, you know, I've actually got my nether stars in refined storage. And I added myself a death muffler just to get rid of the boss bar and some of the uh, death noise. I thought that worked out really well. Uh, so turn the shield back on. I like that. It just, you know, the shield doesn't bother me because I can walk right through it. But I just like having the ability to uh, cycle it on and off. Now. The thing I uh, found out, or a fun thing, is, so I left it running for a while, and it ran out of key matter. I mean, I know that's a big number, but you can see it's exponent, not, you know, minus six. That's really zero. That's, uh, you know, that's in here. Uh, but look at how full it is on living matter. And it's got a lot of bulk matter in it. So if I were to give it nether stars right now, it's going to spawn some withers. And let's see. You know, just for fun, let's spawn them all. Let's see. Oop, turn on the shield and give it nether stars. Oh, yeah. Die, withers, die. Oh, next round. There we go. Even more. Keep going. There we go. Man, that's a lot of withers right there. There we go. I sucked up all of the living matter that I had. And I don't know what that was. That was probably uh, 6,400. So, I don't know. Was that a stack of withers? That was a lot. All right. Turn the key matter off. I got plenty of nether stars now. Like, it's not a problem. Let's see what we've got here. 252. There's 253. So, we got plenty to go. It's just fun. I let the sucker build up every once in a while, and, you know, I did go ahead and infuse these guys right here, just so they take less food to be able to spawn a wither. You know, they go faster, right? It's kind of going in, like, 20s, and that's kind of nice. So I can make tons and tons of nether stars. Now, for the thing I want to do today is, you know, I was moving around some stuff, and, you know, I, I'm always cleaning up wiring in the base, and this room is driving me crazy. Everything fits everywhere except for this room. And so I want to play around with this room and get rid of these portals. And I want to do something about food, right? Is I'm always having to eat and it's so easy to take care of. So the very first thing I want to build is an environmental controller. Really, really easy. Just like that. And I left myself a spot right here in the floor to put it. And then I want to get myself a saturation module, this guy right here. And to get that, I'm going to need a syringe of zombie. 
And I'm actually going to need three syringes. I better grab, yeah, I better grab another one here. So I'd like to go grab some zombies, and it's daytime. Uh, so we can spawn some zombies. I mean, that's pretty easy. I can come down here, and let's see. Uh, let's take out whatever's in here. Enderman, all right. Goodbye, Enderman. Where do you go? Right there. And I pick myself up a zombie. And let's see. I better, uh, I'll put this guy in here. And what we'll do here, we'll go upstairs to do this, is I'm going to turn the crusher off, and we'll turn the duplicator on. There we go, we got a couple of zombies in there. And then I'm just going to uh, whack them with this thing. Come get me, boys. Alright, uh, maybe this was a better plan in theory. There we go, because we got to fill up three of these guys. Alright, so that's one. There we go. Thank you for your sacrifice. It is appreciated. There we go. I think that's two. Yep, one more to go. And this will just help me, you know? I always forget to eat, but I'm always around the base. So I might as well uh, use them for food. All right, so there's three. Cool. Done. Crush those guys. See you later. Bye. All right, so let's make some saturation modules. Let's see. I'll use this one, Saturation. So, level one is Saturation one, and, you know, that's a pretty easy module, but I might as well get Saturation three. I mean, it is more expensive in energy cost, but if we manage the area that it uh, broadcasts in, I think we should be okay. So, let's throw the Saturation module in here, and, you know, I want to set uh, the range on this guy, so... I am at, uh, let's see, Y68. So if I change my height, and let's set this to 69 as the maximum, and 68 as the minimum, that should give me one block high, 50 blocks in a radius, and it's costing me 47 RF a tick to have saturation 3. You know, I think that's really, really cool. So now, anywhere that I'm in the base over here, I'm going to get Saturation 3 as long as I'm within 50 blocks of the uh, environmental controller. That's really nice. So now I don't have to eat uh, as much. I'm still going to have to eat. All right. So the thing I want to do today is, uh, you know, I'm tired of the portal room. Every time I go in there, things don't fit really well. So I went ahead and ripped all this stuff down. No more portals, and I kind of set us up just with a power cable and, you know, put some covers on it and put the room back to standard. And I'd like to set up uh, a transporter room, you know, if that makes sense. So I got myself a chest full of parts, and I just want to walk through it. All right, so we're going to need a couple of things. going to need these guys right here. going to need a matter transmitter and the matter receiver that we already had. So let's do this. Let's put down our receiver and our transmitter, and both of those get powered. And I've already put this guy down before and named it Home Base. And then we're going to need some blocks. And so the thing that I really need here, let's see. Do, 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 do. Don't I have a dialer? Don't I have, yeah, a dialing device. So I'm going to stick the dialing device right here. And what I've already done is I've gone to the places that I know, and I've set down these matter receivers, and so it already knows about them. And, you know, I could be done right here. I can come in here and I could say, hey, home base to the deep dark, uh, dial it up, and there we go. Right? Got myself a dial connection. If I step into that, we're, uh, we're going to the deep dark. I was going to say, I see, yeah, I see an RF connection here. I don't know what that was telling me. Right there. Oh, it's telling me the power in the cable. Okay, I was like, what am I seeing? All right, so I can do this, and I can say interrupt. So that's one way of doing it right there. And, you know, I know a better way, or at least I know a more fun way. So let's grab ourselves an RF tool screen, and let's see what we can get done here. I'm going to need a wrench. 
Where, oh where, is my wrench in my backpack? Yeah, it is. So let's set this screen, like, right there. And I like it nice and big like that. I don't think I want it transparent. Yeah, the one is too small. I think I want it this size. All right, so then I'm going to grab myself some stuff here. Oh, I don't have it. I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need things called simple dialers. Uh, I've only got one. Let's see. I'm going to make a bunch of these guys. Let's make like five. Come on, simple dialers. Right, right there. And I'm going to make uh, redstone receivers. Uh, let's see. I don't see it. Let's, let's do redstone. Right here. And we'll make five of these guys. All right, so... Maybe I gotta speed up the crafting. Oh, I think, you know what? I probably need to do keep stocked on things like redstone torches. All right, so do I have, yeah, I've got button and text modules. So here's what I'm thinking is, you can take these dialers right here and these receivers, and let me get some buttons, and we can set this whole thing up on screens. So what I'm gonna do, I guess let's set up the screen first. So. I'm going to put in a couple of text modules, and we'll call this one Transporter. Just like that, large and in the center. Uh, we'll make it, I don't know, green. And then that one's a spacer. And I'd like to set this so I don't have to come in here and do this every time. So what we'll do is we'll dial once to the deep dark. And we're going to take this simple dialer, and we'll click like this. And I need a place to set it, and I was thinking about using this room down here. And I'm going to set this guy just up on the wall. And I'll put a redstone receiver right underneath it, pointed at it. And I will shift-click that with a button module. And we'll come upstairs here. And we'll put this guy in the screen. Oh! i got to turn the screen on. Uh, let's see. Got to turn the screen on. I have a screen controller right there scan. There we go. Hello? There we go. So now I've got transporter, and I should be able to come in here, tell this guy, you are the deep dark. It does not need to be a toggle. And I'm already dialed to the deep dark, so let's interrupt that. All right? let's interrupt it and turn it off. And if I push the button, I'm dialed there again. Cool. All right, so let's dial to the next place. The next place is the nether, and I'm just going to repeat this process. So let's see, simple dialer, right there, go downstairs, and I think I'm just going to line these guys right up, right there, and redstone receiver, and one of these button modules, boop, just like that. Come back up here, and I'll throw it in the screen, and this was nether all right so right here let's go ahead and name this guy the nether uh, and that should be okay so now i should be able to go ahead and press deep dark and it's already dialed it to the deep dark really cool home base so let's do one to the lost cities yeah right there lost cities uh so let's see simple dialer right there and we can come in here. All right. Do that. One receiver. One button module. It's a little tedious, but I think for just the sheer fun of it, you know, it'll save us some work. All right. So right there. And we'll do Lost City. And that should be okay. And then if I think if I turn this guy off, right, interrupt, and have it blank, and we do a blank simple dialer, and let's go ahead and set this guy up, same pattern, right there, to one of these, and a button module right there, lots of channels, and I will put this guy in the screen, but I'm going to move him down one, space him out with a text module, and I'm going to call this interrupt. Is that how you spell it? And we'll make this red, right? So if I'm dialed up to the lost cities, just like that, 
I should be able to press interrupt and off it goes. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And now I have an extra here because I was playing with some of this before. And so I've got all of the other dimension blocks and I might as well set these up. So I want this one, the destination analyzer. That should let me know that these guys are okay. And I can't remember if it needs to touch the dialing device or the transmitter. I think it's this one. And then we've got a couple of other things. So we've got, let's see, I want, uh, what do I got for space here? One, two, three. Yeah, I'll put these over here. Oh, I've got a matter booster. Yeah, let's put the matter booster. Let's put it right there, I guess. So I think this one will save me if everything's out of power. And then we'll put a dimension builder and a dimension inscriber. And this guy here, dimension editor. And then this one right here, the dimlet workbench. All right, so I'm going to come in here to get myself a dimension tab. Right here, an empty dimension tab. Take one of these guys. And I think I put it in the inscriber. Right, and I will store myself an empty dimension. I now have... Yeah, it doesn't even give it a name. I now have an empty dimension. And then we'll put it in this guy here. And it's going to build myself uh, some kind of dimension. All right, ID3, there we go. And so I should be able to come to the dialer. And there's ID3, and I could go ahead and go to it. Now, I've already gone to a dimension and back, and I've got some working out I need to do in the pack because, you know, the dimensions were a little laggy. So, you know, I think I'm going to leave this part be. Plus, i got to break down a lot of dimlets. We've got a ton. We've got all of these dimlets here because I was, uh, uh, I got these things right here, dimlet parcels out of the mob farm. And so I broke all those down. And now I've got to make myself a dimension. The question is, what do we do for a dimension? I'm not sure. But, you know, I know a place that I want to go and visit. I had a really good idea of a place that I haven't been yet. And so I'm going to want to grab a couple of things. Let's grab a power cell and a receiver. Right? Receiver. Here we go. Matter receiver. And does this have a card in it already? No. So I'm going to need a power cell card. Unlinked. Cool. Got that one. Got these guys. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. So let's go get this guy all linked up. Uh, let's see. I need this one right here. So we'll link you up on the main base power. Cool. And I actually prefer to put this in while I'm in this dimension just so I know it's all linked up. All right, let's go, hello, let's go upstairs. And I'm pretty sure I can take a trip by having myself some flowers. Ooh, I need flowers. Do we have uh, poppies? Yeah, we got a whole bunch of poppies and a diamond, right, right here. And then I'm gonna need some water. Do I have infinite water? Yeah, I've got right here, the Rod of the Seas. So I'm pretty sure I can do this. Let's come out onto the lawn. And, you know, it doesn't have to be anything really fancy. And let's make ourselves, I'm, I think it's a two-by-two. Two. And we fill it with water. And we surround it with flowers. Just like that. And then I think, I better take my uh, magnet off. I think I drop a diamond in here. Yeah, there we go. And there we can get to the Twilight Forest. So let's, uh, let's take a dip in there, and we'll set ourselves up a teleporter, and then I should be able to get rid of this thing out on the lawn. So here we go. All right, so the Twilight Forest took just a minute to load in. It was kind of rough. So I think what I'm going to do is let's come down here and let's make ourselves our teleporter. So I'm going to dig down just a little bit and we'll get our power cell. And right, this guy is set to out. And I'm going to get my matter receiver and I'll put it on top of this guy and we'll name it Twilight. 
Is it one hill? Is it two? I'm not sure. All right, so Twilight Forest, just like that. Cool. And then I should have... Let's see, is it in here? Yeah. I should have my charge porter, and, you know, just being paranoid, I'm just going to do that. Uh, and I should be able to see it like this, Twilight Forest. Very cool. So now I can get here, and, you know, I'm going to explore for just a minute. Uh, you know, I'm not a Twilight Forest expert. Oh, I am enough to know that I can't go there, right? Yep, yeah, nope, bad news, can't go there. So I'm pretty sure I would have to find... Oh, uh, what's the mob called? Is it the Naga? I think the Naga is the very first mob that I'm going to have to find and fight and kill. Yeah, and I think I got to spend a little bit of time in here to let the dimension really load in. But we've got a pretty easy way back and forth that, you know, we can use the, uh, we can use our teleporting system. So, you know, I might, uh, yeah, ooh, ooh, look at that. I'm pretty sure I can't go in there either. Nope, denied. Can't get there. I wonder if I could find the Naga. I don't know. Give me a second. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to peek around it and see if I can find him, and, uh, I'll come right back to you. Now, I am not a Twilight Forest expert, but I'm pretty sure I know a Naga arena when I see one. Isn't this it right here? Doesn't it spawn if I get in there? Do you think we should? I mean, I think we should. Yeah, let's go see if we can see the Naga. Hello, Naga. So, let's see. Can I just shoot you? I don't know. This dimension is unbelievably laggy, right? Like, there's something... Oh, that's right, I gotta do it with a sword. I have to do it with the sword. Let's see, where is your hitbox? Oh, I might not be tough enough for this, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Ah, no, he doesn't do much damage, okay. Either that, or I'm not feeling it yet. Right, so come on, come on. I just want the Naga Trophy. Just to say I was here, and we did this, and we can put it up in the base. Hey, hey, don't bite me. Don't bite me. All right, we might have to stop and have a snack here. I don't know. It's kind of hard, because whoa, there is a lot of lag. Is the, uh, is the Twilight Forest always like that? I mean, it's been a while since I've been here. Oh, hey, don't break the place up, man. Boy, this would be nice if we could capture this guy and put him in, like, a spawner. Right? Wouldn't that make for a crazy spawner? All right, so a little bit left. There we go. Goal reached. Got our stuff. Sweet. So we got ourselves a Naga Trophy. And some Naga Scales, and I could do something. Yeah, we could make some armor out of that. Actually, you know what? It's kind of decent armor. I don't know. I'm sure we could probably spawn him again, or I could find another arena, right? Because the spawner went away. Yeah, cool. I like it, so I think I'm going to take that as a win and go home, although this house over here is on fire. What is going on in the house? Oh, we got ourselves a um, skeleton druid spawner. Not no more, we don't. Okay, a little bit of another rack, nothing really worthwhile. I mean, the only other thing that I remember as being kind of worthwhile here, besides having fun doing the progression... Yeah, we're things like these big hills right here, right? Isn't the uh, inside of this hill a thing? Maybe it's not this hill because it's raining. I don't know. I would have to find one, but I was pretty sure that there were some hills that I could quarry out. But are they better than the deep dark? I'm not really sure. I don't know. I'd have to look around to see where I saw the hills again. But they were pretty obvious mounds. Uh, let's see, was I going this way? I know there was one right near me, but we're also near, like, three other biomes. And I'm not sure which one I can go to next. I'd have to look back at the, uh, you know, at the pro game progression. Yeah, I don't think that's the hill. I think that's just another biome. But you know what I mean. There's There's big mound hills. Wait, is this it? Yeah, this is it, right here. Right, so let's just take a little peeksy doodle. Isn't there, like, an official entrance to this? Right? Is there an entrance here? Let's just look all the way around. If not, uh, we will make one. 
I don't feel like you're the actual entrance. No. All right, let's uh, let's bore down through the mountain and see if this is what I'm thinking of. Yep, this is what I was thinking of. We got all this stuff in here, so tons of spawners. There should be chests in here, I believe. Right? Isn't there a chest? Uh, you know what would be helpful in here? Let's get out. Yeah, let's get out the mana blaster. And that way I can just kind of light this place up a little bit. But wasn't there... Wasn't there chess in here? Right? I know there's all kinds of badness in here. Right? All kinds of mobs. And spawners. But I could swear that there were chests or something really valuable in here. Yep, 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 yep. I see one. I see one. I just want to see what is possible in here. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff right there. Let's kill some of it, I guess. I mean, it's never going to get it all. I just want to dip down here and look in the chest. All right. Ironwood and some stuff and get all this stuff. And yeah, I don't want anything to do with this right now. Okay. So there is some things to come in here. I'll have to uh, review my Twilight Forest lore. Sorry, I'm just trying to stay out of their range and see if I can see anything. Yeah, like that guy right over there. Can I can I peek into one more chest? Could I do it? I don't know. Let's kill some of these guys. Right? I know it's kind of unfair. I'm floating, but hey, tough luck, guys. There we go. Okay. And let's come over into here. See this guy take everything. Oh, that's an uncrafting table. Right? Okay. Back up. Let's see what that is. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. An uncrafting table. Nice. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. And cool, we're back in our transporter room. I like it. I like it a lot. So let me just drop off some of this stuff right here. And, you know, we'll program this, uh, and then we'll put one thing up and be done here. So I am going to... Let's see, I can come here, and I can say the Twilight Forest, right there, dial, do this guy, right? Simple dialer. We'll go ahead downstairs. I'm going to put this one up on the wall with a redstone receiver, button module. All right, come back up here, and we'll stick them in the screen, and we'll just move everybody around. So let's see. I feel like your interrupt, I think it's this one right here. So I'm just going to call this the tea forest. There we go. We got ourselves a twilight forest. Turn it off. And then, you know, our, our transporter room needs a guard. So I was thinking about this right here. I'm going to put myself up a friend. So it wouldn't be a transporter room unless we had Chief O'Brien to... You know, help us out here. So, Chief, you can now hang out in the transporter room and operate the transporter for us. I like it. I like it a lot. Ah, that was really cool. Got ourselves a trophy and an uncrafting table. Got rid of our ugly portal room, and now we got ourselves a transporter room. That is a pretty good time right there. So, I'm going to call it there. I'm uh, 47 Mark IV, and hey, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know, leave me a like or a comment, or hey, even some help with the uh, dimensions. That would be really, really good. Thank you. Uh, and then I will see you all in the next episode.